Hey everybody, welcome to the Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. I want to do a video on the Montreal Canadiens. I didn't get to do a video on the whole Edmonton trade, and it was a curious trade that um, Bergevin made. Um, I also want to talk about something that I heard with Brendan Gallagher on his next deal. So, um, you know, let's get into it. You know, Joel Edmonton was traded from the Carolina Hurricanes to the Montreal Canadiens. And a lot of people are questioning why Bergevin would give up a fifth round pick for a, a person who's going to be a UFA in a matter of weeks. And this time of year, a lot of GMs tend to do this. They tend to make the trade, give up an asset to bring in a player to start talking and getting those contract negotiations going. And that's exactly what's going on very soon or at, the, at this time right now. Um, they tend to do this to try to get them on a bit of a discount because once they hit the open market, the floodgates open. All those GMs try to um, give as much money as possible. But doing this, you get to sit down, have your talks early. And most most of the time, it's more of a favorable way of getting them to sign a bit cheaper this way. So, you know, according to RDS, Montreal and Edmondson are nearing a contract extension that can be finalized as soon as this weekend. So that's pretty good news. Um, the deal is believed to be around three to five years. And an annual value, an annual cap hit of three point five to four million per year. Um, I like what Edmondson offers this team. He brings in playoff experience, uh, played on a lot of winning teams, so he knows what it's like to battle in the playoffs and to win a Stanley Cup. So he can bring that to a lot of these young defensemen and you know mentor them in in that role. Um, I like the way this defense is shaping up um, with Sherratt, Weber, Kulak, Petrie. Mete's an RFA, Olet's an RFA, you know, all, Olsner's got two years left on his deal, $4.625 million. I'm pretty sure he will be a candidate to be uh, bought out if they do do a compliance buyout. Um, you have Romanov, you have Folin, who's a, a UFA, so they have a lot of question marks what they're going to do going further with um, the way their defense is going to look. And, you know, it's starting to shape up pretty nicely, but, you know, if Bergevin wants to go out and get a free agent, there's a lot of good free agent defensemen out there. Um, wants to go the trade route, he can do that as well. Montreal has a lot of picks if they want to go that route. But um, there's options out there in case Bergevin wants to upgrade a defense. I'm sure he'll concentrate more on bringing in some forwards to help out, but you never know with, with what's going to happen. And, um, you know, going back to Edmondson, he had a pretty fair year. He played in 68 games, uh, had 7 goals, 13 assists, 20 points, 27 years old. So he's still he's a, he's more of a shutdown defenseman. He can chip in here and there, but he's not known for his uh, production as far as his offensive output. So, I like this deal. I like what he, you know, he didn't give up a lot to get him, but, you know, giving up an asset sucks. But at least you get to get him a more of a favorable deal than, than when they hit free agency. You know, Montreal's uh, situation right now with their cap, they're currently sitting at $68.5 million. They have $12.9 million in cap space. And if they do decide to buy out Olsner, it kind of gives them around $17 million plus. So they have a lot of cap space to work with if they want to definitely make some moves this offseason. So going to the Gallagher talks, he was uh, talking about his uh, next contract. And he said that winning is pretty much everything. But the money is important. I'm not going to lie and say it's not. It's going to be important. So... He's basically saying he wants to win, he wants to be on a winning team, but he also wants to see what he can get as far as money, which, you know, a lot of these players do when they, they're entering that kind of year. He's 28 years old, so this is their kind of big break, long contract where they can make as much as they can before they start, you know, their decline as far as age and everything. So, we'll have to see what happens with this. I love what Gallagher offers this team. He's been their leading goal scorer for the past couple of years, arguably their best forward. You know, I love what he adds to this team, his physicality, his grit, uh, his feistiness, the way he agitates uh, other teams. I just love that type of player. And, um, you know, hopefully they can work out a new deal uh, when his when his contract is up. I think he's got one year left at 3.75. So we'll see what happens with this. And um, I'm sure he'll re-sign with Montreal. I think Montreal values what he does with this team. And they'll try to sign him to a good deal going further. So... I just wanted to do this. I saw these two things pop up on social media. I figured I'd do a video on both of them in case you guys and girls haven't checked it out. So thank you all for your time. I really appreciate it. Smash that like button. And if you haven't done so, uh, subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. Join the hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great night. Have a great day tomorrow. Take it easy.